Hey, we're here with another day or night, I should say, of Adron of Coat. Trying to move up the leaderboard again today. Right now, 30, 34th, and here we go. Two pawns, one through ten, randomly. Adds up results. Okay. Five to go to two, yep. First of the space they stop. Okay. Okay, three and ten. Okay, got it. All right, let's go. No, no, no. What? This is such bad timing. There's no input. Uh, this one. Let's turn on two. Um, equals it's players who plus roll plus roll plus roll minus one Montana plus one scores who plus plus players who if scores who is at least a thousand we break. Uh, also turn plus plus one, print turn scores, four and eight, so given four and eight, three thirty, Three ten. All right, let's go. Part two. Single three sided die. Okay, so so now you need a twenty one. So players.
All right, so food tools that don't really cash. All right, and then get solve. Turn players scores. Okay. Um, otherwise, who gets turn on two? Oh, but you still do it three times. There's going to be one times two. We're going to have one, two, three. There's going to be one, one, one. We're going to the product of these. It's like. Is that one three six seven six three one? Does that add up correctly? Yeah, that adds up correctly. Okay. I don't need this anymore. Rolls are going to be. Three one, four three, six uh, five, six six seven, seven six, eight three nine one. That is very confusing. Okay, so three one four three, five six three four five six seven eight nine, one three six seven six one. Okay, cool. We'll roll in rolls. Had equals rolls roll zero ways equals roll one. Not return. Um, solve turn plus one players scores and zero and now zero and one now one. We're gonna undo. Minus add minus one plus mod ten plus one. Ah, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Whatever. Oh no.
It's a quantum die when you roll it. It's a quantum die when you roll it. 21. Oh, uh, it's a ways times. What did I forget that? No, no, not. Here, what does that do? No, 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 that's not what we want. That's what we want. Okay, great. Now we do this instead. I don't know what. Ah, nice. That is a good outcome. Where's Kevin? Ooh. All right. So let's talk about this one. Um, Yeah, so the first part of the problem, um, I guess I should save this. I need to go back to, because I messed up the, I messed up the copy command. So let's see, where are we? Is this what we wanted? Thousand, yes, okay. If I run it, is that the answer? Seems like that was the answer. Yeah, seven three nine. Yep. Okay, cool. So this was cool, and then this is the full thing. Cool. So this is part one. Um, we just set up a function to do the rolling process that they talk about. Um, this makes sure we go from a hundred to one, and otherwise we increase by one. Um, yeah, we just simulate. Um, this is whose turn it is. We add to that player's uh, position, roll plus roll plus roll. Um, this minus one, mod 10 plus one is a trick to um, set up the correct, um, so basically set it up mod 10, but instead of using zero, you use 10. So f of x, if we return x minus one, mod 10 plus one, you can see that f1 is one, two is two, F9 uh, nine is 9, but once you get to, for example, 0, you get 10. Or, or if you get 10, you also get 10. So it's it's like a mod, but instead of 0 through 9, it gives you 1 through 10. Just add that position to the score, and if it exceeds 1,000, you break. Um, and then, yeah, basically what the problem wanted is how many times the die was rolled times the losing player score. So that would be 3 times the turn, because we roll 3 times every time, times min of the scores. And then part two, uh, part two is, it's trickier because now we have these quantum universes and there's a lot of different universes. So we, this is way too many, we can't actually simulate all of these. Um, but if we write it recursively, what we can think about is, okay, the only parameters that matter are whose turn it is, um, who's, what, where is player zero, where is player one, where is score zero and where is score one. And in fact, this can just be who, it doesn't even have to be turn uh turn so this should be one minus two in that case and this will still work not that this matters a whole bunch right now um but anyway um so whose turn it is where is player zero where's player one what's the score zero and what's the score one um and these are kind of these are the base cases. If someone already reached twenty one, then they're the winner for sure. And in this case, they're the winner. Um, otherwise, we just simulate all the rolls. This is a table of what can happen after three rolls. You can get anything from three to nine, and these are the frequencies of how you get them. And yeah, we just kind of we do a lot of the same things from here. Um, we add those. We add to the players' position. We add their score. Um, and we solve recursively, and then we add that to the answer, multiplied by the number of ways to roll that. 
Uh, this is just kind of reverting um, what we had. Uh, I guess we could also you could also do something like score zero if equals zero if score one. Same thing here. Um, you could also save the two arrays and just uh, reassign them back to the copy of the array later. Anyway, uh, yeah, you just recursion, you, you call this new, uh, this new uh, instance of the function and go from there. And this will be exponential time, uh, except for this thing. This is like an automatic memoization. So if I run it like this, it will take forever. But what this does is if you give it the same arguments, again, it will save the results from last time and automatically memory. So this is just like a really nice trick for coding up a dynamic programming or DP solution quickly. And then, yeah, at the end, we just pass in our parameters and we're good. Um, so this time I got, okay, I moved up to 30th from 34th, which is decent um, in the top 30 now, but uh, probably shouldn't have skipped a bunch of the ones early on, but anyway. Um, that's it for now. Thanks for checking it out and I'll see you in the next video.